Hello everyone, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a simple plastic material in Unreal Engine. Like you already know, Unreal Engine is incredibly versatile and capable of doing loads of stuff and that includes creating really lifelike and photorealistic materials. In this instance we are going to create a material that is basically a plastic type of a material and apply it to a static mesh or an object in the same level. So first of all we need to create that new material by left clicking, sorry by right clicking and creating the material. We're going to call it plast, plastic and through a double click we're going to open up the same editor. First of all when we get into this editor mode we're going to change the blend mode from this opaque to translucent because plastic possesses some elements of translucency. Then we're going to find translucency and we're going to change the lighting mode to surface translucency volume. Now this basically allows you to create a really simple, really basic plastic material. To do that first we're going to create a node that will be connected to base color and that is going to be a constant 3 vector. Here it is. We're going to connect it to base color and we're going to double click on this right here and change its color to uh, let's say something of a bluish tone. And that's okay. We need a bit time to for the same same node to kind of get rendered in the preview port, so that's normal. Now we're going to create two additional constants, not constant three vectors, simple constants that we're going to create that we're going to connect to the same material. So first we're going to find uh, a constant and we're going to simply copy and paste it to create another one. Now these two nodes will be connected to roughness and opacity. The first one will go to roughness and the second one will go to opacity. We're going to set uh, the roughness to something that is let's say 0 0.1. And we're going to set the opacity to 1. And that should create a really basic and simple bluish, kind of bluish, plastic material. But let's check it out in the game. We're going to save. And we're going to keep this docked. Of course, like always, it needs a bit more time or a bit longer to save and process the same material. From then on out we're going to connect it or we're going to drag and drop it onto an object in the level and see how it looks like once it's actually present in the same level. And here we have it, here's the preview, the save is done. As you can see the same surface seems a bit too glassy, too reflective, so we're going to change the, opac the roughness value to 0.3. Again. We're going to go for save and as you can see this is much better, it's more plastic looking and appears to be more natural in its appearance. So let's see it in the game world. We're going to create a sphere and we're going to elevate it here, maybe create it a bit bigger. Here it is and we're simply going to drag and drop the same plastic material. Now let's check it out in the game. And as you can see it does have that plastic appearance and we can of course always change it, adapt it and modify it a bit. However this would be the basic process of creating any kind of plastic material. As you can see again the nodes we used are constant three vector that you use to change the color and a constant node for roughness as well as opacity 
you can play around with each of these to create different kinds of plastics because you have your really glossy shiny reflective plastics but you also have your rough kind of matte plastic materials that are not so much reflective but still have that really clear plastic sense as you saw in the actual level that's all for this video thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this useful if you did please consider leaving a like or subscribing there are also a bunch of other ways how you can support my channel all of them are in the description below and that's it thank you so much again for checking out this beginner's tutorial video i'll see you on my next clip and until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine levels bye bye